So normally, when you first install Clip Studio Paint, you see this window pop up and it's asking you to draw so that it will adjust the pen pressure when you're drawing. Um, you only need to show this part, so show pen pressure graph. Um, if you don't have this, you can just go here, then open this part, pen pressure settings or J. Um, the shortcut is J. Then just look for the pen pressure graph. Then you'll just need to copy this graph over to Krita. Now in Krita, you can adjust the settings for Krita by going here to configure Krita. Then go to tablet settings. So you can just um, copy the same curve that you see over here in Clip Studio Paint. So if I have it something like this, then over here in Krita, I can just copy it something like that. Or make your pen pressure behave the way you want it to behave. So you can just add or remove points if you think that's the perfect graph for you. Now, if your tablet isn't working, there's also a possibility that um, these two things need, needs to be changed. So I have a bit of problem with Windows Ink. That's why I switched to WinTab. Um, WinTab is like a bit of an older like pen setting. So if you're on a modern system and stuff like that, um, Windows Ink is probably the right choice for you. That's also the default one. But if you're having issues, you can try Win WinTab. And if you change this, this would need you to restart Krita for the changes to take effect. So when you change it, restart Krita, then test out if your pen is working. And right now it's working fine for me. So I don't have to change any setting for that. Also, before you start working on on like your drawing and, and start learning about Krita, um, there is a way for you to transition better by using this custom shortcuts made by a community member by Freya Lupin. Let's thank them for that. Um, I'll have this available to download in the description, but um, if you're over here on this link, you just have to download this, then save it as a shortcuts file. Then um, you can see more of the thought process and like how the, the shortcuts were made. But yeah, you can just look over here on what's changed from Krita default to CSP compatible. Because over here in Krita, so I have my own keyboard shortcuts here and there are paint tool Sci compatible, which is like if you're coming from paint tool Sci, then you can go ahead and turn this on. That way you don't have to relearn all the shortcuts from scratch. You can just um, start working. And if you're coming from Photoshop, that's also a possibility. And this is a Krita default and stuff like that. But right now we don't have CSP um compatible just yet so this is the way for you to get that early on before this gets installed by default and in, when you install krita you just have to download the link below in the description then save it wherever then go to settings configure krita then over here on the keyboard shortcuts not the canvas input over here in the keyboard shortcuts just click here on save load load custom shortcuts then you'll just need to look for where you place your um, shortcuts file, then you're good to go.